my friends welcome back to the chew and chat welcome back all my subscribers and all my new subscribers welcome i'm joan today we're going to do gumby's korean barbecue wings been craving them for several days it's like got my son a pizza and some pizza rolls i got me some wings and um it took them like two hours to bring this thing. I had enough time to make some spaghetti. So I'm gonna have some spaghetti over with it. Um, ignore me because I'm, it's like I'm not gonna put on some nice clothes. What the hell is this thing doing? It's upside down, I think. Is it upside down? No. I don't know what it's doing. It was like it was stuck or something. Wait. <clears throat> Because um, these things are messy. Got me some paper towels here. Because I'm going to need to put my little picker up. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's what's called goodness. Mm. I love these things. I go smell it sick. Oh well. Tea and Dr. Pepper. Didn't know which one I wanted. So I got bring two because I might need two. <coughs> oh. I had a little hiccup there. I had one subscriber but let me have a hiccup. I had a little one. Mm. Let's try my spaghetti. Mmm. That's really good. I'm more excited about these wings. These are called flats. I think there's a little spice to it. Mm. 
Mm, I like it. All oh, that deliciousness. Mm. I'm gonna have me a finger looking good thumbnail. Y'all can enjoy this with me. tell you a story. It's about my mother. When she was young, I'm going to say early teens. I don't know if she ever told me. <clears throat> they lived like two blocks from the cemetery. And, um, This would probably go out on, uh, this would be my Halloween special. I'll put it out for Halloween. I'm going as a bad lady. <laughs> and she had this friend, she lived out by the Brazos River in Calvert. And, um, Somehow they got the bright idea of hanging um, their, um, hold on, dry cleaning bags. They used to be clear plastic. And um, they got a bunch of them with coat hangers and I don't know if they painted them on them or not. I can't remember. Well, they went and hung them up in the trees in the cemetery. And, um, they wanted, um, my grandpa or somebody, one adults, to walk them through the cemetery and scare them. It was kind of a little bit of wind that night, she said. And, um, well, this girl, her name was Sookie. That was her nickname, Sookie. Her mom said, oh, I'll take her. I'll take him. So they're like, oh, we're going to get her. We're going to scare her good with these dragging in her bags hanging up like ghosts. And um, they started walking through the cemetery. And um, I guess halfway through, the mother got scared. Or I don't know. They all started running and screaming. And, um, the mother started running, and, um, she fell in a big hole. <laughs> she broke her ankle. And they, they were all running and left her in the cemetery with their broken ankle. <laughs> and she's thinking it was a ghost or whatever up in the tree. And, and they had, um, they went and told my grandpa to come get her. She had fallen, and she couldn't get up. <laughs> <laughs> he had to take her to the doctor or whatever. And, um, 
this had to be late 40s early 50s and um she said they never all the kids never said it told them that it was them that put those dry cleaner bags up there because that got in trouble Since we're all dead, I can tell the story now. <laughs> My mother said, a poor lady. Out there by herself for a broken ankle. She's trying to get up and run. She couldn't do that. She was scared. They still need to work on their chickens. They kind of still kind of tough at the top. Lip smacking good. Mm. See, Joe Hanson hits you on that. Mm -mm. Support falls on the floor. There it goes. Little piece. I just watched a video with him on the floor racing his dog eating pork chops. That poor dog didn't know what to think about him on that floor eating pork chops, man. He pulled the pork chop off the bone for the dog so it'd be even since he wasn't going to eat the bone. And then he, um, then he gave the bone to the dog. One thing you'll do is give pork chop, pork chop and bones and chicken bones and stuff to the dogs because, um, those splinter. <clears throat> what do you say? He didn't want to. Well, he wanted to make it even, but then he wouldn't, didn't want to have to stop when he's trying to race the dog eating um, to pull a bone out of his throat. Yeah. I still say these businesses that make these chicken wings like this, they should be a bit ashamed. I think the government should make everybody uh, make all these restaurants um, refund all their money. These chickens. It was a together. It's supposed to be one. Now you go get fried chicken and stuff. Now your chicken wings are all together. I 
I don't know why they charge you like that. I mean, when chicken uh, wings started getting popular, they were like 30 cents a piece. Then we're up 50. Then they went up to 75 cents a piece. They'd have like 75 cent um, wing Tuesdays or something like that. Pizza and stuff. stuff. <clears throat> I don't. Let me see. I guess some of y'all have gone to subscribe to Joe Hansen's um his YouTube channel because um. He's up to 700, it was 701,000 subscribers. Ugh. I like, yeah, I think that's my subscribers going over there. And, um, uh, I'll go Beard Meats. That's B-E-A-R-D Meats. M-E-A-T-S Food, F-O-O-D. Beard Meats Food. He got to one billion views. Oh, mm, that felt good. I was watching all of them. My old Halloween um, video I made for last year. I dressed up all as a cave woman and had my big tomahawk steak and sausage and baked potato and I don't know what else I had. And um, y'all go back to the rich life up and go back. Yeah, watch it. Yeah. I spent so much money on that video. I wish I'd make something off YouTube. I like giving y'all content, but if I can't have y'all subscribe, some of this is gonna have to not be so much. Oh, huh. Hmm. It doesn't hurt to subscribe. It helps me out. And, um, I need an income. I'm gonna have to go get me a job or something. Just a dash of salt in there. Let me see. What else can we talk about? Let's see. <clears throat> It's Halloween. <clears throat> I'll tell you about <clears throat> one of my happenings at the hospital. Um, my cousin, Jillian, she was in a, bar, a bad car accident a few years ago. And um, me and my son, Ashton, went up to the hospital to see her. It must have been like a day after. I don't know. We went up there. And um, we went into ICU to visit her. And 
and check on her. And um, we visited for a little while. You can't stay very long when you're in the ICU. <clears throat> I think it's like 10 minutes or so. I don't know. I know. When we were in there with her, we kept hearing all these children running around playing and having a good time out in the waiting room. Well, wow. excuse me. And, um, we went out and, um, there was all these little children just running around in the waiting room and, and off on the right side of us was the elevators, two elevators. And, um, we got halfway through the waiting area and um, all those kids took off running into the elevator. And I'm sitting there, it was like 20 of them. I was like, I know where's all those kids gonna fit into that um, elevator. Then the elevator closes. And um, we get up there and it's not even 15 seconds later. I go push the button. And that same elevator, them little children ran into, opened up. There wasn't no little children in there. Yeah. First time I saw a ghost at the hospital. Oh, sorry, my nose itches. My mother, she had some kind of surgery or something. And um, I had gotten onto the elevator and there was a man standing there. It was a white man. And he looked like he was dressed from like the 1940s, 50s. Um, like he was going to church on a Sunday. This hat on. Um his suit on. Um, I think it was brown. If I'm mistaken. Brownish tweed. And, um, he's standing behind me. And, um, I'm in front and I get in and I go in and I turn around and I push the button and go to whatever floor. Well, when the elevator is opened, I walked out and I turned around to look because I was fixing to o hold the door open for him and um, that man, he just disappeared. That's why I say to anyone, I'm not going to finish her up. No, I'm full. <clears throat> I just made it up because I had some ground meat and it'd be cooked. I've had it for two, three days and so I need to cook it. It's like I'll just make the spaghetti go with my wings because gumbies don't make spaghetti. I think they'll do DoorDash, don't send it. Well, I'm just like a <clears throat> Excuse me. That's for all my burp lovers. So I always say, you see somebody walking down the side of the street. You're walking by somebody in the mall. You're next to somebody eating in the restaurant. Or just sitting there. Or carnival. Doesn't matter where. You see somebody. You're at Walmart. Pass by somebody. Doesn't mean they're real. A lot of times, it's a ghost. And uh, I know our Walmart is here. We're haunted. And uh, I know inside the store here, 
in Ryan, by me, it's haunted. And then um, the one in College Station, they say the, the flower, when they put everything outside, is haunted. <clears throat> so... I know my uh, my son used to work at Walgreens before when he first started working for for the car and car insurance and everything. I'd have to go pick him up, and it'd be they close at every about eleven o'clock at night. Sometimes we didn't go home to two three o'clock in the morning because um home oh, I hate me since my teeth. I had a ghost in there. They kept setting off the alarm. And so sometimes I'd be sitting there and the police had come. And finally they just had to just leave the alarm off because every time they said it, it'd go off because it would show that someone's over there or in the bathroom or somewhere and they'd go look and there's nobody there. And you could just see like there was a shadow. And sometimes he said he'd be up at the cash register and all of a sudden there's nobody in there. And he's stocking cigarettes or something and all of a sudden... Here goes all, you know, the candy they have below the the counter. You just start just flying everywhere. You had to go mess, pick all that mess up. And they said it's a Chinese lady. Hmm. They had a Mr. Gaddy's there. That was a very nice Mr. Gaddy's. I went there several times with um, friends from Calvert. I had birthday parties there, and um, that was very nice. And um, they tore it down, and they oh, and they had um, it was right in the parking lot. They had a big blue building, <clears throat> and you could go get your um, speakers for your cars and car radios and stuff. All that stuff's kind of gone away now. <clears throat> so, but they tore the Mr. Gaddy's down. They tore that building down with the car stereos. And um, then they built this um, very nice um, filling station. You pull up, get your gas, go in there. Get your and I went in there several times. It was very nice. And um, that thing, you know, and dig in the holes for your gas, put your gas in. <clears throat> storage tanks and then you know building a brand new building on them it was a nice big huge building it was only there maybe six maybe eight months they went and tore it down i was like why would you do that so i figured i guess because it was so haunted they said my son told me that a lady a chinese lady had hung herself in the Mr. Gaddy's. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. But, um, they've always had problems. You never knew what, what time it was going to be just a few minutes before you're going to get home or you're going to sit there for three or four hours. and Especially if it was winter time and have to sit there in the cold. and Yeah. I hated it. That's my... Some of my paranormal stories. If you go back to The, the Rich Life, I've got some stories on there too. <clears throat> so I'm going to go I'm getting sleepy I've had a headache all day right here it must be allergies pushing I'm going to go take some allergy medicine I bought a new kind that is Zizel don't think it's working I might have to go back and find me another brand. So, all right, 
make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, hit that bell notification, make sure it's black. And I will see y'all in the next video. And I really hope y'all enjoyed me eating these wings because I really enjoyed it. My belly is so happy. So thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.